if you're going to enjoy yourself a cigar, there's a few things you're going to need besides just a cigar. Let's get into let's get into some cigar talk, Gavin. Let's get into it. I love cigar talk. Cigar accessories can range from the affordable to the very extremely expensive. You got your cigar, now what? What's the first thing I need? I need a cutter. Well, there's a bunch of different cutters you can choose from, but the basic ones are a guillotine cutter, a punch cutter, or a V-cut. They all have their pros and their cons. If you have questions about which cutter is best for what situation, check out our video on how to cut a cigar. We talk more about the pros and cons of each individual cutter, but you can't go wrong with a nice guillotine. You could get a cheap cutter, and those are great because maybe you don't have a cutter and you want to buy one just so you could smoke one cigar. For instance, when I'm on vacation, oh, there's a place that sells cigars. I need to buy a cigar. Now I also need to buy a cutter. I don't want to buy a nice cutter like this one because I can't even bring it back through the airport. So cheap cutters, great for a certain situation. A cheap guillotine cutter might cost you $5, whereas if you want to get some crazy, fancy collector, you can really get ridiculous on how expensive a cutter can be. You know, I spent about $30 for this Zycar. It's self-sharpening, it's gonna last a long time. If I want to spend more, I'm gonna get just more looks and panache. I'm not gonna get more functionality. My recommendation is to always aim for the middle. Don't get the cheap, the cheapest accessories you can find but don't get the most expensive accessories unless you have some mon just money that's burning a hole in your pocket. Garrett said, the function of the accessory is not gonna be too much better when you're paying those ultra premium prices. Sometimes the quality is even less as good. You're paying mostly just for the name and the elegance. So you got your cigar, you cut your cigar. Now what do you need, Garrett? Some kind of uh, finger, oh, the <laughs> lighter. Yeah. Light the cigar. How yes. are you gonna do that? Well. There's a lot of options. So there's basically two different types of lighter. There's a soft flame lighter, and then there's a torch. Now you can get a couple of different variations on both. You can get soft flame lighters that do two flames. Mostly it's just one flame. And then you can have torches. Torches might have one torch, two torches, three torches. I've even seen four torches to really light that cigar quickly, but also to light a cigar outside. If you want to use a soft flame, better for indoors. If you want to use a lighter outside, you're going to need to have a torch. My favorite is someone smoking a cigarette and they need a light and I pull out my cigar lighter to light their cigarette. Whoa, what are you, what is that? It's a cigar lighter. It's the same as saying I make more money than you. <laughs> There's also a third category. There's desktop lighters. Desktop lighters, you can get a desktop soft flame or a desktop torch, but desktop torches are more popular. And the only reason why you would want a desktop torch is just so you don't have to refill the thing as much. The good thing about one of these is it's small, it fits in your pocket, but if you smoke a lot of cigars at your house, you're gonna be refilling these things pretty frequently. Whereas a desktop lighter, it's got a really big gas tank. You can probably get a decent torch lighter for $15, and then you can really spend a ton of money and maybe they have a lifetime warranty maybe they work a little bit better long term they all work about the same when it comes to functionality i personally don't like to spend too much money on torches i prefer a soft flame i only use a torch when i'm outside moving on to the gas you want to use cigar butane and all that is is it's highly highly purified it's been refined many times for example if you get a lighter from a gas station the butane is going to be dirtier and that's going to maybe affect the flavor when you refill these lighters if you want them to last longer use a clean purified butane and also you won't get any negative chemicals or flavors in your you know smoke now we have our cigar it's lit we're enjoying it you finished that cigar hey i want a couple more cigars on the road because it was such a fun experience well i have made the mistake of just putting a cigar in my coat pocket a couple hours later when i'm ready to smoke it i find the thing is cracked and almost not smokable this happened to me when i was in japan <laughs> for new year's eve and i wanted to smoke a cigar we're drinking we're in bars and everything and then pretty soon i'm like oh let me light up my cigar it is just cracked and damaged beyond belief. I was able to smoke it, but just barely. It's very important that you protect your cigars and you you keep your cigars at a certain humidity. So if you wanna just put your cigar in a plastic bag, 
That takes care of... Nice. You dropped your ash. Dropped my ash right on my lap. That happens. If you want to take care of your cigar humidity-wise, a plastic bag will do the trick. You definitely don't want your cigar to dry out. It's not going to taste very good, and it's going to crack. Protect the humidity, and you want to protect the cigar itself. What you need is a two-finger or three-finger cigar carrier in case. And I like this particular one from V-Soul because it has a divider. So that's nice because let's say I have one cigar or two cigars, even three cigars might have some wiggle room. And if it's wiggling around, then they might get damaged. If I have this divider, I can put the divider there and it's a little bit snug. And then I can put one cigar in there and it won't wiggle around. I have a Zycar uh, three finger cigar case and it works fine. But if I only have one cigar in there, it does rattle around, and so it's a problem. But you need something, and if you also notice, uh, a good quality three-finger case often is cedar-lined. When you store cigars in cedar, it adds a slight cedar flavor, which is quite pleasant. On the aroma, too. So these, they're not cheap, but like I said, if you love your cigars as much as you and I do, we want to take care of them. Yeah, I love my cigars. I got to take care <laughs> of them. So <laughs> we don't have any kids. How many cigars have I saved because I had this. This cost me $50 or $60, but I mean, it's justified. It's handmade in America with real leather and it's lined with Spanish cedar and it's just really high quality. It's gonna last your whole life. Smells great. People will see this and then they will think, wow, cigars have a class to them. Fancy lighter, they see your fancy cutter, they see your fancy cigar case. They smell it, they're like, ooh, it smells like a a really nice leather, and they all of a sudden have a new perspective. Moving on, let's say you're really enjoying this cigar hobby. Hey, why don't I step up my cigar hobby game and I get a humidor, right? What's a humidor, Garrett? Well, a humidor, it allows you to, instead of spending uh, an exorbitant amount of cash on buying cigars, one or two at a time from a tobacconist, you can now buy boxes of cigars and store them at your house. That gives you the benefit to save money on purchasing cigars now in bulk, but it also gives you the ability to keep your cigars expertly taken care of so that when you want to smoke at home, you, don't, you know that you did a good job. You don't have to worry about that. And now you can age cigars yourself. A humidor's purpose is to protect your cigars from the elements, protect the cigars from too much heat or too much cold, and also to keep the humidity relatively stable. Now, the way a humidor works, it's not just a box. The way it works is you need to have a box with a relatively good seal, and you need some sort of humidifying device. So you need maybe some Humicare beads or some humidifier sponge. It's basically florist foam. You put some distilled water or you put some propane glycol into the sponge and then that slowly re releases humidity. Now you can over hu humidify your cigars. You don't want your cigars to be too humidified or too dry. So you need a way to measure the humidity and you need a hygrometer. So you need three things. A humidor is the box and then inside the humidor you have a hygrometer which tells you the humidity and sometimes also the temperature. And then you also need some sort of humidifying device. And those three work together to keep your cigars at the proper humidity and at the proper temperature and also protected from the elements. Cigars originated in, in Cuba and now they're produced in Cuba as well as other Central American countries. And in those countries, the humidity is about 70%. It's a very humid climate. And so that's where the cigars were made. And when the rollers are rolling them, they're rolling them under those conditions. They're rolling them a certain way so that they smoke perfectly under those conditions. Some people, you know, they convert a walk-in closet into a walk-in humidor. That's baller level. Baller. That's like my dream home. Gotta make that YouTube money. My humidor is like a chest. It can hold about 180. I like to have a medium size because it's not too expensive, but also if I get a box of cigars, they usually come in about 20 to 25 sticks. If I get a box and my humidor can only hold 20 cigars, then I have no room for an additional cigar blend. You just get sucked into the buying boxes. So I would recommend those deals. Or you can just buy five packs and have a whole bunch of different 
blends in one humidor. Part of the hobby is collecting cigars, so you need to have a place to put them. Okay, so there's also travel cases. We're gonna go on a trip to Thailand in two weeks now. I'm gonna smoke a lot more than three cigars. A travel humidor is a nice thing to have. You can get small, medium, large travel humidors. They usually are sturdy and they're gonna have lots of foam to protect the cigars from bouncing around. They usually have a, a small spot where you can add some humidification device. It's a good way to keep your cigars safe and it's a good way to um, keep them at the proper humidity. Now, if you're on the go, you can make do with any kind of ashtray, but the thing about a cigar, they take a long time to smoke and you don't need to puff on them that much. What you're gonna wanna do uh, very frequently is set it down, have a drink, go to the, use the restroom, shake somebody's hand. You're gonna want a nice ashtray to smoke and enjoy your cigars with. And a nice ashtray is going to include a place for you to set your cigar. Not all of them, but many cigars, most of them are round, so they tend to roll. You need to have a place to put it where it's secure. A cigar ashtray generally has a larger dip in it than a cigarette ashtray, and it also has a a big area to collect the ash because there's a lot of ash on cigars. I smoke alone occasionally, but usually I find myself smoking with friends. It's not very classy to have to be like, hey, can you take your cigar up so I can put mine down? It's just annoying. Skip that hassle for the same price. You could get a cigar ashtray that could hold two or three or four cigars. I'm like sweating. Yeah. I'm yeah. sweating. Summertime. Summertime, I agree, is hot. Well, that's about it for cigar accessories. <clears throat> if you found this video enjoyable or interesting or educational, give us a like, subscribe, check out our other videos. We do cigar reviews as well as podcasts, travel videos, and more how-to videos. If you want us to cover any specific information on cigars in the future, drop us a comment. We'll read it and try to get to it right away. All right. Enjoy yourself. Peace.